A man at the center of one of the state's worst COVID-19 outbreaks says he feels safe enough to go back to work. The JBS pork processing plant in Worthington will partially reopen tomorrow with a new safety plan, which the state says is up to CDC guidelines. WCCO's Aaron Hassanzada spoke with an employee about the changes. After two weeks offline, the doors here at the JBS pork processing facility in Worthington will reopen Wednesday after hundreds of employees tested positive for COVID-19. Last week, I do two days of work. It was safe. Johnny Mamo, a longtime employee at the facility, spent two days during the shutdown cleaning. He'll return to work later this week. For me, so it's good. But six people, they go over there, it's not good again. The same, the same problems happen, you know. But the, the negative people, they go, they start working. It's better that they have safety to protect them. Other meat processing facilities hit hard by COVID-19 are slowly coming online as well. This testing site in South Dakota is for workers at the Smithfield Pork Processing Plant in Sioux Falls. More than 800 employees have been infected there. After being closed for more than two weeks, some workers returned to the plant Monday, though the facility is not operational yet. I know uh, like three or four friends that uh, got COVID. They, uh, I mask them. They say they don't want to go now. Mamo has managed to stay healthy despite the outbreak. He says he feels safe with the measures put in place by JBS, but he admits that COVID-19 can be an invisible enemy, and that's concerning. It's transferred easily, you know, so it's too hard, too scary. Aaron Hassanzada, WCCO 4 News. The union representing many of the JBS employees says 150 people will be working each shift tomorrow. It's normally three to four times that many people. The union tells us social distancing is the biggest hurdle, but reducing the staff does help.